Hey guys, J-Man here. All right, weekly X-Man talk. Before we get into the the, the uh, discussion here, uh, I want to say a thank you to everybody um, who's been uh, a subscriber because I've hit over 700, which is great. Uh, but also, I've been getting a lot of great comments, and especially in these X-Men videos. My last X-Men video actually got a lot of comments and a lot of good, like, long comments, not someone just being like, oh, you know, this sucks or, or you're an idiot or something. <laughs> Um, I also wanted to point out in, in case if you're new, uh, to the channel or whatever, I'm not like a super X-Men expert, right? I'm not an expert. I just made that up right now. Uh, I, I never really, when I was younger, I read like, um, just random X-Men issues here and there. So in the recent years with digital comics coming out, I've been going back and I've kind of started from giant size X-Men and then reading that entire run, which is where you get into Phoenix and everything. Um, and then I've, uh, and I've started the Grant Morrison run. I read the first like couple of volumes of that. And then I'm doing the Bendis stuff, which I'm actually really liking that, the, that run, uh, the Avengers versus X-Men, all that kind of stuff. So I don't know everything about every X-Men character. There's so many. I'm also, I'm currently reading about 30 comics a month. Um, so all the X books, um, a couple of other Marvel books, um, and lots of DC stuff. So I don't know everything. So I'm going to make mistakes or I'm going to not know stuff or I'm going to, you know, possibly even forget things as well. So that's not an excuse. I'm just letting you know about, you know, who I am. So I'm going, when I'm reviewing these stuff, this stuff, it's from a fan perspective. I'm just reading it and having a good time and telling you my thoughts. Um, and uh, the other thing I wanted to say is that basically from the um, the Hickman stuff, like right now, the, the, the House of X, the Hawks and Pox or whatever, um, from that point on, I've read everything. So this is sort of the perspective I'm coming from. So if things happen in this book or in another book, which reference older storylines, I'm probably not going to know those storylines. Okay. Um, so that, that's why I do appreciate the comments as well, where people can kind of like help me out and tell me what's going on. And I'll even ask, like, I'm not sure what's going on. Can you guys let me know? Um, now I did make a, a, a mistake, an error last video where I forgot that you can't um, resurrect clones, or that's one of the rules, not that you can't do it, but they don't want to resurrect clones. Um, that's the whole Madeline Pryor thing. So a couple of people helped me out in the comments last time. Now that that lends a lot more weight to the ending of New Mutants. Um, but I'm pretty sure, I can't remember for sure. Again, I don't remember for sure if X-23 was resurrected or not. Um, and I And I thought that she was a clone really, but again, I don't know everything about every X-Men character, so correct me if I'm wrong on that one. All right, we've got three books to discuss. I'm not going to discuss X-Men Legends. I did get the Rob Liefeld cover, which I actually really like. I really like this cover. I think it's really like dynamic. X-Men Legends, this is a for fun uh, book. Um, it doesn't tie into current continuity. Um, so I don't wanna review those or talk about those. I just wanna enjoy that for what it is. Um, Let's start out with, uh, let me get my iPad up here. Let's start out with Wolverine. So this is Wolverine uh, number 13. Um, I like this cover, that's kind of fun. This was a pretty good book. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do my space reviews. If you don't know what space is, you can um, you can check out my trailer video, which explains the way I review movies and, and, and shows and stuff like that. And I can apply it to comics maybe in a lighter way because space goes a little bit more in depth. Um, so it's story, pacing, art, um, and for film that would be like the artistic value, like music and cinematography and effects and that kind of thing. Characters and then just the overall enjoyment. So I think for comics, what I'll just do, it'll just do binary. I thought it was okay or I really liked it and then that'll give you a score out of five at the end and that's how Comixology rates stuff out of five. So I could do that for these books if people want that. I'll do it for this video and if you like that, I'll continue it if you don't. You know, I don't like giving a rating for a comic because this is not just one comic. You're, this is the whole Hellfire Gala event. So you can kind of rate the event, I suppose. Um, I'll do it for this video just as, just as a test to see what you guys think. So um, the story here was pretty good. Now, one, one complaint I'll have on this book right away is that this was not a Wolverine book. Like this is called Wolverine, but Wolverine is not really the main guy. It's like it's just X-Force. It could have just been an X-Force book. So it's a little bit weird because, you know, when I pick up a Wolverine title, I want to read about Wolverine, not so much about everybody else. Beast has a lot of things in this book um, as well. Uh, but let's talk about the story. The story is the gala. Um, 
Now the uh, the the uh, uh, what are they called? The Terra Verandians or whatever. They've been uh, they were they were um, controlled by Beast in order to become allies, um, and that's been broken. So now they're pissed off. So that's the story. I, I I mean I think that's kind of a cool idea. So I'm just gonna say I like that like that right there. So there there's there's one right there. One star uh, one star right right there. Um, I just like that. I think that was a really cool concept, and I'm really liking beast and wolverine and sage i'm liking all the characters so i'll just tell you that's another one point for the character section uh because i really liked uh, i really liked all that uh the pacing of this book is pretty damn good it's it went by very quickly so that's another point so we're at three so for our three points um the art I, I i like the art here and the colors are pretty good there's some pretty good like you know i like you know when you get like a good page like that where it's like wolverine just doing his thing you know um and like I like the coloring here it's it's a it's better than average like panel arrangements you do get some of these where it's like a grid but you know it is what it is so I'm gonna say I really liked it so that's a four um and I think I'm gonna leave it at, at a four out of five and the reason I'm gonna leave it at a four out of five I did enjoy this book uh and but I really would have liked to have had more Wolverine stuff and I wish this would have maybe have been X-Force that may sound like a lame excuse to drop a point but it is what it is you know not everything can be five out of five so I'm gonna give this a four out of five I like this a lot um it's still really cool um all right let's get on to way of x now these I'm getting digitally because I can't buy everything physical because I'm already getting too many comics uh way of x I think the 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 storyline in this one was pretty pretty good uh so this is uh, Nightcrawler um, investigating the possibility of having like a religion or something um, with the Crack Owens or at least something to boost morale or make them feel special about themselves. Um, they, they recite the three rules. So this is the three rules. It's make more mutants. That's number one. That's addressed heavily in, in this book. Uh, kill no man, right? So that's something that we've already kind of known and respect the sacred land. So respect, you know, the island and all that. Um, I think that one is an obvious one. They're going to probably do that, I think. Um, you know, Beast might, because Beast is <laughs> might not, because Beast is, like, really shady. But I think Beast is a fantastic character. And he's super interesting to me in this uh, in this entire kind of series. So, again, we're at the gala. Um, and the story here was pretty good. So I'm going to give it a one, a one out of one or whatever for the story. Or maybe a half, because some parts I just didn't, I wasn't as into. Like Nightcrawler's drunk here in the beginning, um, and he's kind of just ambling around. <laughs> uh, he meets up with Stacy, who's this character here, and there's not going to be spoilers. No, no spoilers for this one. Um, and she's uh, she's kind of running like <laughs> he's like you're running a brothel, <laughs> but you know it's like literally a place where mutants can hook up. I guess if that's what you, you know. And uh, she's like, look, I'm making more mutants. What do you want? Um, but, but she's also handing out uh, contraceptives and all that. So it's like, there's that kind of thing going on. Actually, I'm going to give it a one out of one. I like the story. I thought it was pretty good. In the meantime, Legion here, it's like doing this mind meld thing with these with these mutant characters. Um, and this will bring us to the art because I really like the art here. This is really pretty, these little dream sequences. So I'm going to give that another one point right there. I'm going out of order. I know I'm supposed to go space, S-P-A-C-E, but I'm just going out of order. I like the art here. It's really nice. The colors, like this is really good, good pages here. Uh, really, really cool. Um, yeah. Uh, so basically he lures this creature out, right? And he's trying to hunt, hunt it down. And then here's, you see some of the babies here. So I'm not going to spoil this too much because th this one has a lot of, um, there's a lot of thought put into this one. So you're going to have to kind of read it and make your own little judgment calls of what you think is right or wrong. Um, you know, should there be, should they make more mutants the natural way? Should they try to, you know, produce them in other ways? And what are you going to do with all these babies? And it's it's done in a much better way than, than I'm, maybe I'm making it sound. Um, I know this could be interpreted as one of these, you know, agenda kind of things. But I don't I don't think that it is. Um, at least in the in the way they're representing it in this book um it's it's on the nose but it's on the nose in a nice way it's it's not preaching to anybody it's just giving you the perspectives of these characters so i don't think it's uh you know too agenda driven or whatever 
uh but yeah I, I mean this is all really cool now again you get to see now we've already talked about onslaught we know onslaught's coming so you can see kind of see the shadows in the back there so i'm looking forward to that it's really building up to something pretty pretty cool here uh so yeah overall i liked uh, all this I, I would say the pacing was a little bit slower for me on this one so i'm not going to give it a, a, a perfect score for that um so i'm definitely going to say the story is, is 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 good so that's a one point for that i'm going to say the art's good so that's another point characters i'm going to say maybe um maybe half a point because i really like nightcrawler um some of uh, dazzlers in this which is great i'm not dying over everybody else you know they're okay i guess you know legions are all, all right nemesis is kind of fun not enough to give it a full point so i'm going to give it a half a point on that one so uh, we're at two and a half right now i'm going to give um uh so wait what do we add spa so that was the the art is two yes yeah, so the characters um, and overall enjoyment, I'm going to give it a half a point. I think it's, uh, I think it was really, really enjoyable. It could have been a little bit better. I thought maybe driven home a couple of more points or, you know, moved the story along a little bit more. So I think a three out of five is pretty fair, um, for that one. Okay. Let's get into sword number six. Spoiler alert. This is five out of five. Um, wow. Okay. Yo, sword, man. If you're not reading sword, you should get on it. Uh, first off uh let's talk about this intro here we're not gonna spoil anything there's not a lot to, to spoil uh but this intro here with where captain america and dr doom are discussing this whole entire terraforming thing with mars and it's just damn good really good um i like the colors here i like this art it's a little bit you know it's panel arrangements again but you know it, there's there's a page like that but then there's a page like this which is nice um you know, I kind of like this thing where he's like kind of stepping over another panel. So that's kind of good. Like Dr. Doom here looks great. Um, I like this, the, the, the contrasting here of the colors and everything. Man, this was awesome. That And then check this shit out. Okay, let, let's talk about Abigail Brand's costume here. <laughs> Damn, man. Green's my favorite color, so I'm a bit... Uh, but, uh, but yo, man, this is awesome. This is like so awesome. Abigail Brand is is pretty cool. Um, I love this. You got the galactic representatives here because I don't know who anybody is. Well, I know Peter Quill, but like I don't know anybody here. So that was good to have. Finally, a page here where they give you this, where it's actually useful in the story you're reading, um, which sometimes I got to complain a bit. I know I, I harp on this, but like these white pages or whatever, like, come on, just, I don't know. Some of them are useful. Some of them aren't. This one was useful. So, you know, kudos to them. So they're just discussing um the solar system mars and you know they're kind of saying oh wow you terraform mars you know who cares <laughs> which is <laughs> which is great but there's a new um element um uh created here oops called mysterium now it, it, it's just literally like in this case it's just literally like a bar that she's got um so this apparently it's not as strong as adamantium but like it's just it's like you know it's approaching that and she, Abigail Brain, is going to give uh, a bunch of it to the different representatives. And the best is where they're like, wow, okay, thanks. That's a great gift. It's like, well, it's not a gift. It's more like a bribe. Uh, and then uh, I, lo I love this here with the, with, with the team standing there. That's really cool. They just lay the She should just keep that costume. <laughs> um, and then, oh, yeah, Dr. Doom shows up. Boom. Oh, my God. Uh, Dr. Doom showing up anytime is great. Um, if Dr. Doom shows up, it's just going to elevate your comic. Uh, great dialogue here with them. I'm not going to get into much more. Um, there's a little bit of a reveal at the end, which I'm not going to reveal here. Now, there was something I noticed in Way of X. There was a picture. There was a, 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 a thing in the background. I'm not going to spoil anything. There was, there was something in the back, and I noticed it immediately, okay? And... Um, it's a character that I like, and you, there's evidence that I like this character because you can see the evidence behind me, uh, although my head is covering it right now. But uh, that might be a spoiler right there, so I'm going to not try to not move my head so you don't see what's going on back there. Uh, yeah, so a character showed up, so I thought, oh, that was weird. I'm like, we saw this character in the background. I'm like, are, are they going to expand on that or, or what? At first, I thought, could that be a mistake or something? Like, why is this character here? Because I read them in, in that order, and, now, and then I read Sword After. And it wasn't a mistake. There's something really cool that happens. So I really like this one was five out of five, big time. 
Um, let me know what your thoughts are on this week's X-Men books because they were really good. Really good this week. Uh, especially Sword, man. Wow. Uh, that's really getting up there in terms of like must read. Um, I don't know if it's it's not Hellion's level uh, yet, but Frigg, it's, uh, it's, it's really getting up there pretty fast. Uh, so we're going to talk about that big time uh, this Sunday. So uh, tonight I'm going to be on the Action Elite. We're going to be talking about the Indiana Jones franchise, one of the best of all time. Love it. Uh, that's tonight at, um, I believe, 6.30 Eastern. So that's the Action Elite. There is a link to the Action Elite in my banner on my YouTube channel page. Um, tomorrow is going to be Thursday night. That's going to be the Phantom Zone. Uh, we're going to be talking about video game movies, so movies uh, that are based on video games. We're going to go down our list of the ones that we think are really great, uh, top five, top five video game movies. That is uh, 7 p.m. Eastern time tomorrow. Uh, and then uh, Saturday, we're doing a special edition of The Phantom Zone um, at 7.30 p.m. Eastern time, I believe. Uh, I don't even remember. I have so many of these scheduled. <laughs> um, we're going to be talking about toy collecting since I'm a toy collector. And we're going to have Sean and we're going to have uh, Adam from Go Figure, uh, which is a great YouTube channel that just started. Um, they're going to We're going to be talking about toy collecting in the modern day. So that's going to be very good. And then uh, Danger Room is going to be Sunday night. We're going to have Gray Malkin on. We're going to have Steven and Sean. We're going to be we're going to we're going to unpack this X-Men stuff, especially that spoiler that was revealed. We're going to talk about Superman and Lois, Loki. Uh, there's a Suicide Squad trailer, probably more Supergirl costume stuff, uh, Shazam costume stuff. So lots, a lot of stuff lined up this week. Okay, guys, um, if you want to be a part of anything, I'm still doing the Amazing Fans. If you want to join in on it, on something, let me know in the comments. Uh, again, thank you so much for watching and, you know, like and subscribe, all that good stuff. And I will see you next time.